Hi, it's Gail with Bernina of Naperville, and I am excited because today I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin on your Bernina 880. I'm also going to show you how to thread it with that robot needle threader, load the bobbin for both sewing and embroidery, and clean out the machine. Did you know most of the issues, honestly, with any sewing machine is a needle and thread? And then also sometimes the fuzz gets in under there and you need to just clean it out. You need to shake off your thread cutter. So we're gonna do all of those things today. So join me, let's get started. First thing we need to pay attention to is actually how we put the thread on the Bernina 880. So you see this little guy here, this is the thing that holds all of the thread. You should be familiar with this, but do you see embedded here in this plastic guard is actually a picture of the bobbin. So this is the spool that the bobbin goes on for winding. So I'm using uh, Mettler silk cotton. That's actually not silk, it's 100% silk finish cotton which um, is just nice and smooth it's a 50 weight thread i'm getting ready to sew a cute little elizabeth hartman pattern so i want to use my 100 percent cotton thread i'm going to take my bobbin so i grabbed an empty bobbin here and these um, don't confuse the bernina 880 bobbins with the jumbo bobbins that you see on the bernina 7 series they're just a little bit of thinner but they do hold the same amount of thread so you're going to put the bobbin onto the machine and you're gonna see how awesome it is that the screen changes immediately when you put the bobbin on because there is a little sensor right there on the bobbin that tells you exactly that you have that bobbin on there. Now, on the Bernina 880, you can tell it how fast you want it to wind the bobbin. And you know why that's important? That's important because when you use a polyester thread and you wind the thread too fast, you can actually get puckers when you sew with it. So being able to control the speed a little bit is a lot easier. Now we're using cotton thread, like I said already, so we really aren't going to have that issue. As we already know, the bobbins hold a lot of thread. And sometimes if you're just going to do some mending or some hemming or just an alteration or something, you don't need all of the thread on your bobbin. So you have the ability to wind 25%, 50%, or 100% full. I've decided to wind my bobbin 100% full. And the first thing is you're gonna take your thread and you're going to line it up with these two bobbin winding holdery things there. So there's two little loops that hold the thread. It comes directly up from this spool through this one and through that one and then down to this hook right here then under our little bobbin tensioner then we go around clockwise about five times and then this little shiny silvery disc is a cutter and now you just want to make sure that that is in there snugly and that's our threading path so now the only thing we need to do now is press this green bobbin winding button Now that the bobbin's winded, you're going to, <laughs> I believe we say, now that the bobbin is wound, you're going to cut it on the silvery disc. And now we're ready to look down here. This is the most amazing thing you are gonna see today. This is the Bernina bobbin holder for the Bernina 880 plus. And we can see here, there is our jumbo bobbin and ooh, I got a little bit of lint on there. I'm gonna have to clean that out. So I'm gonna take out the bobbin that's been wound in there and I'm gonna replace it with this new bobbin that's in here. So I wanna show you something. Did you notice that that bobbin swung to the front when we just opened the door? Look at that. 
Okay, so you know what's really cool about that is that means that the hook is actually behind the needle when it's sewing, and that's a great feature. That feature is fantastic because it allows you to do high-speed sewing because back in the day, in the old industrial machines, the bobbins were behind the needle, and that is how the Bernina 880 Plus can sew so fast. So that's just a little trick, but nobody wanted to run behind this super large machine and change the bobbin out back there. So so the very smart Swiss engineers decided that they would put a robot in there to bring the bobbin from the back through to the front of the machine so you would still have your front loading bobbin. Well enough about that, let's put our bobbin in there. So we're going to put our bobbin in. Now this bobbin can fit in two different ways. But we always want to see our little disco dots. So we want to see our disco dots when we put the bobbin in the bobbin holder down below. And we want to see the disco dots when we load it on our bobbin winder. I might have failed to tell you that earlier, but you, you saw how I did it. So you should be paying attention there. Now we're going to take this thread and we're wrapping it around and it goes through that little slot just there. Then once we go through there, we're just gonna, I like to take my thumb and push it to the back and then just pull the thread and I can feel it going into that little slot. Now, if I'm gonna thread this for regular sewing, I'm just gonna cut it on that cutter right here. And now I close my door and I'm ready to sew. Okay, so I just showed you how to thread the bobbin for regular sewing, but there is nothing, and I mean nothing, that embroiders like the Bernina 880 Plus. So that means that if you ever wanna do your embroidery, you're gonna to wanna to thread your bobbin for embroidery. So you put your bobbin in, remember, disco dots are gonna come out so we can see those little suckers spinning around in there. And now you thread, you go behind here, and you pull, and I can feel that kind of clip into that little spring that's down there, but now we're not gonna cut it. We're gonna come up along this silvery guide, and we bring it right under there, and then you'll feel it clip into place. So what that does oh. is going with the thread, kind of rubbing along that guide, gets it right into that little pigtail-y thingamadoodle that you need to put it in. And then you can take your thread and then cut it there, just like that. When you are getting ready to thread your needle with the super cool Swiss robot needle threader, fully automatic needle threader, you're going to um, move your machine thread off of the bobbin area and turn this around like so put this on a spool that's either this one or this one and then go straight up on this holder and then i call this the bernina 880 floss Bloop. now do you see how the screen changed and how it tells me exactly what to do i sweep my thread behind this little silvery hully gully I sweep my thread back there. I go down the path in above the needle. Now, this is the exciting bit. I go into these little white lips and cut. Now, it's not over yet. I'm going to just gently pull my thread over here. Give it just a little bit of slack like that. And now you know what's coming. I know what you want. You want to push this button and that's what we're going to do. Now that we've threaded the machine through the needle and we've loaded the bobbin case with a bobbin, I wanted to show you something else that can be a little bit weird. So if you saw how I do my threading, so we're going to floss our thread through here that wakes up our screen to show us our threading. Now we get the thread through here and we thread. Now, if I open the bobbin door, look what happens. You get this error message and it's showing you, hey, Gail, 
you're trying to thread and I can't be threaded and I can't load my bobbin at the same time. So what I'm trying to get at with this kids is one thing at a time. You either do your upper threading or you do your bobbin threading. You can't do both at the same time. So we're gonna close that bobbin door and forget that that ever happened. We're gonna X out of this screen and then we're gonna proceed with threading our needle. I wanted to show you something with the bobbin on the Bernina 880. And that is, first of all, you get this tool. This is your multi-purpose tool. I'm gonna to show you how to use some other aspects of this later, but what we wanna pay attention to is this end here. I am the type of person that will push my machine to the limit, so I'll try to use the thinnest thread in the world, and I'll also try to use the thickest thread in the world down here in the bobbin. I'm turning my hand wheel so that we can expose this area right here. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can see that there's a dot. And if I angle the camera just over, you can see that there's another dot right there. Now on this machine, it wants the dots to be relatively lined up. That means that you have a perfect balanced tension. But if I'm using a little bit of a thick thread, like I wanna do some couching, that's where you put thicker thread in the bobbin and you work upside down, it's really a cool thing. I'm gonna use my little guy here and when I turn it counterclockwise like that, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna use my little guy just here and when I turn it to the right or turn it clockwise, I'm tightening it. And that's what this represents here, that that larger area on this, I think that looks like an eyebrow. I don't know, what do you think? But the large part of that eyebrow right there means that it's putting more tension on the bobbin. When I take my little dot and I move it back this direction, that means less tension. So that's gonna do better when I put my thicker thread in. When you need to change your thread on your machine, you're going to take the thread, and I just use my little cutter right there. Then I travel all the way down here, and you want to make sure that your presser foot is up because that releases the tension discs. Then we wanna pull the thread through the machine like that. Please don't pull the machine up this, or pull the thread from here up. It really will affect um, some of the little mechanisms in here. I know what you're thinking is, well, Gail, sometimes my thread breaks and it gets all up in here. So what do I do if I actually can't pull my thread down? So I actually will take my multi-purpose tool and I put this bit of the multi-purpose tool into the head cover. And it, you take the head cover off and then you can look around in here for any loose threads because any loose threads can make a difference in the way the machine sews. Your machine comes with a little pair of tweezers and so just gently use the tweezers to pick the thread out if indeed something kind of gets a little goofy in there. You're probably wondering how you would clean out your Bernina 880 Plus machine. Well, it starts with removing your presser foot, which you just lift the little lever and pull it down like that. And then we're going to remove the needle. And yes, there is a little needle screw that you can get with your, that comes with your Bernina 880, but my little fingers just don't bend very easily. So I'm using this screw key do. And this screw key do is basically the screwdriver, but with this easier to grab handle. So I'm just going to righty tighty and lefty loosey this out of here. And then I'm just gonna tighten this a little bit so it doesn't wiggle out. The needle plates are pretty easy to remove. We're gonna press the little bullseye in the corner there to get the needle plate up. Now that we have our needle plate off, I can use my brush that came with my machine to dust off all of the little dust that I see everywhere in my area there, okay? So you wanna clean that out. Then there's something that you need to do. So let's clean out the needle threader. That's 
the thing up here. And that's where, you know, your um, needle threader might be missing or it might not just be catching properly. That's because sometimes you need to clean the fuzz out of that. So you're gonna go up here to your screen and you're going to select the little gears. And then you're gonna select the sewing machine button, the wrench, and then the dust brush. And so we have two choices. We've got clean the sewing machine or clean the cutter. We're gonna to go to clean the sewing machine first. And now it tells us all the things that we just did pretty much. We have to remove the needle. Now, when I selected this screen on the machine, you can see that my needle button illuminated. So what I'm gonna do is press that button. And my needle threader comes down from the heavens and kind of gets stuck in this position. But we want it in this position so that we can get all of the fuzz off of our mechanism. And that will keep that from getting a bunch of clumpy, clumpy, yucky goops that will prevent it from threading the needle properly. So then we're gonna press our button again to get the needle threader back into position. And that's it, we've cleaned our needle threader. Now we're gonna go back up here, back to the brush button in our little breadcrumb section, and this time we're gonna clean out the thread cutter. So there's some instructions that we have to follow, and pretty much we're gonna remove the presser foot and the needle plate, and then we're going and remove the needle, of course. Then we're gonna select this link, I'm gonna to touch this, and you're gonna see that thread cutter poke out there. There it goes, did you see that? All right, so now you're gonna take your brush and clean out that thread cutter and make sure there's no little itsy bitsy stragglers down there. Oops, sorry I bumped the camera. But that looks pretty clean to me. So now I'm gonna go and click my move thread cutter in, which is right there. See that link, you touch that. And now down here, it's gonna move my thread cutter in. See that? It moved it in. So now that that's happened, I can open up my bobbin door. Out comes my bobbin. And now I'm going to take my bobbin out and I'm gonna dust around in this area with my brush and make sure I get all of the dusty, dusty, dusties out of here. I'm also going to take my hand wheel and turn it so that I can look all the way around my hook to make sure that I don't see any thread. This is also a good opportunity for me to take my oiler and this is where you're going to promise Gail, raise your right hand and promise me that you are not going to use any other oil than the oil that came with your Bernina 880 plus. Because if you use a different viscosity in here, you will have a heap of problems. And you don't want a heap of problems, you wanna have a good sewing experience. So only use the Bernina oil. So you're gonna put just a little drop right in this track and that will oil your machine. And I like to err on the, let's do a drop of oil after every couple of embroidery designs. Or in my case, I'm going to stitch an Elizabeth Hartman block. So I will probably oil after I finish one of these blocks. But once you get everything put into place and once you get this oiled, you're going to close the bobbin door. I don't have a bobbin in there, but that's okay. What we're really looking for is the machine to rotate that bobbin around and get that oil in there nicely. So now let's open this up again and I'm gonna show you a little trick. So I'm gonna put in my bobbin that we wound earlier and I'm gonna run my thread along this little groove here and then I'm gonna go under here and push and just make sure this gets seated right into place on my bobbin. Now I'm threading this for regular sewing, so I'm not gonna bring it around that little guard, I'm just gonna cut. The machine comes with this little dental tool, right? And that is so that you can get under there. Hee hee hee, I see myself. Hi Gail, hi Gail. Okay, so that's so that you can get under there 
and see if you threaded your machine right. I'm gonna try to put some sort of circle on my video here, but this is threaded correctly, and I'll show you right on my video exactly where you wanna look for your thread to be coming through when you thread your machine. Okay, but we're threaded correctly. We're gonna close the bobbin door. We're gonna put our needle plate back on and I like to give it a little rub to get it on there securely. Now we're gonna put the needle back in, put the foot on, and we'll be back in business. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial of the Bernina 880, cleaning and troubleshooting. Next time, we'll actually sew on it. So if you wanna see that video and others like this, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is easy. It's youtube.com slash Bernina of Naperville. And once you're there, like, comment and click the little bell to get a notification every time we add a new video. Thank you so much. Happy sewing and stay healthy.